Shanahan. The Vigo County Fair the, is just a couple of days away. It will begin this weekend. And while crews are working to get everything in place, they are making sure that all of the equipment is up to code. Sierra Hignite joins us now from the Vigo County Fairgrounds to share how things are shaping up for the opening this weekend. Sierra? <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Tom. I'm here live at the Vigo County Fair right next to all of the rides. If you take a look next to me, this one here is just one of the many that got inspected today by the State Fire Marshal's Department. And it can take quite a few hours to inspect one of these giant machines from top to bottom to make sure that it's ready to take on the large crowds that will be visiting the Vigo County Fairgrounds over the course of the next week, which results in a couple days of visits from the Fire Marshal's Office. And though this is a tedious task, they say it's one that is very necessary. Spectators will fill the Vigo County Fairgrounds this weekend for some wholesome summer fun, but not before the safety guidelines are checked off. Safety is the utmost concern. You know, if you have to have a safe, uh, safe amusement rides in order to have a fun fair. Thursday was inspection day for the carnival rides, and historically, the Vigo County Fair runs a clean ship. And they'll inspect it from top to bottom. You know, making sure that the foundation's correct, every pin is in place, and our keys, all the safety features are working, and, and they, they'll go completely through it. But these rides don't just get inspected before the crowds show up. The Carnival Company has people on staff that are certified to check the rides. Uh, we do daily inspections. We uh, also do a uh, pre-opening, and they get switched up for different people so that it's not the same person checking the same piece of equipment every time. Safety is a big concern for fairgoers who are boarding these high-flying rides. For peace of mind, you too can check to make sure the ride is up to code. That you can look for a seal on that ride to make sure that it has been inspected, it has met code, and that uh, it has passed inspection and it's safe to ride. Although the Vigo County Fair has a good safety reputation, you can never be too cautious. Because anything can happen. And the more eyes that you have looking at it and the more people involved, the uh, less likely you are to have an incident. Yeah, and you know, these rides, though they take a couple days to inspect, um, that means that crews are going to be out again next Wednesday to finish up certifying these rides that are nearing their um, certifications being expired. And that also means that rides like this, well, they're going to take a while, which means that the state fire marshal's inspection, like I said, they are going to have to come back to make sure all these rides are safe for those visiting the Vigo County Fair. But for now, reporting live in Vigo County with local news that matters, Sierra Hignite, WTWL. All right. Thank you, Sierra. Can't be too safe, that's for sure. The code for the Indiana Fair rides is regulated by the Amusement Device Equipment Board.